Hello to you. My name is Jesse Johnson. This is about the Bible, the Holy Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. A statement on the probable meaning, 95% probable meaning on the beginning of Genesis. This is a spiritual meaning, not a religious statement. Religion is not spiritual, but anti-spiritual. It misinterprets and misrepresents the spiritual purposely, abuses and depresses the spiritual. Religion is exoteric and not esoteric. Religion is against knowledge and science. If it does not fit, it's accepted anti-social exploitations. But this here coming up is different from the religious, egoist hell underworld. If you are looking for religious and theistic trash, you will not find it here. For the centuries of genocides against the extreme innocent, slaughter, murder, brainwashing that have destroyed billions of internal lives, etc. This points to all theistic religions and many atheistic religions. The Bible is folklore, that's F-O-L-K-L-O-R-E. This is one of the main reasons it is terribly misunderstood by theists, agnostics, and atheists. First, it was oral folklore, that's O-R-A-L, oral folklore, handed down by mouth and so forth for hundreds of thousands of years, but the core of those those that folklore was kept intact, then written down piece by piece over 12,000s of years and became written folklore. Folklore is made of legends, mythologies, tales, proverbs, rituals, dances, initiation rites, verbal instructions and demonstrations for the next generations, material lore, artifacts, beliefs, customs, sayings, songs, literature, art forms, notions, legacies, traditions, beliefs, ideas, poems, prose, stories, etc., all of which have regular facts, truths, and supreme truths embedded within it. You must search extremely deeply to find these great truths. From a now from a non-religion, non-religious standpoint, and a her story, that's H-E-R, a her story, and a his story standpoint, the Bible in general is approximately 85% true and correct as a core general whole. <coughs> Human females have a her story. H-E-R, not a his story. Females are hers, not his. His story is two words, his and story. Human females do not have a his story. They have a her story. And when you're mat a mature male, you'll understand. Otherwise, no matter how old you are, 20 to 125, no matter what your nonsensical philosophical stupidities are, you're still immature, even if having children or being a player, unable to recognize your natural mate for what she in fact is. Now, human females, 190 to 220,000 years ago, were the first humans. This is genetically factual. Fossils and genetics independently concur. Male humans came about 10,000 years later through genetic recombinations or around 180,000 to 185,000 years ago. The human race proper achieved genetic lock as a species around 185,000 years ago and is mixed with Elohim and Anunnaki genes. The, the first humans were black women genetically or the black woman, then the black man. The human race originated from the continent of Africa. 
the first 100 verses of the Bible is about 300,000 years of oral folklore kept intact at its basis and at its core, even though there are many varieties all around the core of the Anunnaki, Elohim primates, and the human recorded past, put into writing as a single book by the groups called Christians and Jews between 28, pardon me, between 50 AD all the way up to 1500 AD. Also, Adam, A-D-A-M, Adam lived to be 930 years old. This was a giant, not a human. Humans live 120 to 125 years maximum. Humans had battles with the giants and won. Hence, you don't see giants around except for their skeletal remains, which are found everywhere. Now, from the Holy Bible, the book of Genesis reads verses 1 through 4. Number 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Number 2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. 3. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. 4. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Now, that is an esoteric, pardon me, that is an ex, E-X, exoteric statement. I will show you what an esoteric statement looks like for those who are more esoterically aware in this life. Hold on, please. I'm going to move the camera. Now to continue, <clears throat> please look at this. This here is awakened sciences and demons, which is the highest sciences and demons of all sciences and demons, awakened science. And this here, the rest here, is for the more esoterically aware. We will start with one. These are colored pink. The verses, number one, in the beginning, which is to say when time, space, energy at, at that point began, there was no before this. There was neither being nor non-being, neither existence nor non-existence. Number two, creation and God in the exoteric sense, which is utter impossible, were not in that moment. Potential for the universe and earth came to be. Number three, the heaven, universe, and earth were only potential and was without form and void, not the void of space or vacuum, and darkness, not the darkness or light from electromagnetic energy. <coughs> Number four, nor the darkness or light of supreme consciousness was on the face of the non-conceptual deep, not the deep of any physical thing or matter. And there was light. And there was light. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is not the light of energy as known. This is before energy, so to speak of no before. To continue with number five, <clears throat> the sourceless light of absolute non-God perfect, non-God divine supreme trans being, ineffable, indeterminable, indeterminable, trans-knowing, 
non-referenceable, sourceless source, so to speak. Abasha, ultimate, transcendental, bright, trans-reality, trans-osho, supreme consciousness. And there was light, not the walls of time sense, time tense, number six, and the light was divided from the darkness of non-dual division one without a second. And infinity, which includes finity, moved without time, space, or energy upon the non-H2O waters, which is to say near infinity, non-physical dimensions, fields of non-personal consciousness on the face of the absolute eternal eternity, non-conceptual, non-conceivable, non-subjective, non-objective, inevitable supreme consciousness. Number seven, infinity of 70 dimensions and its sub-dimensions moved and instantaneous all energy, which is also spirit that is ever to be, was. And this was, was the first day, not the day made of ours, for nothing has never nor ever existed, nor non-existed. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and please have a very good day. <clears throat> yes, and share this video.